Hey, this is Donnie Smith with CollisionBlast.com. Collision Blast offers auto body and paint training, and you can go there and you can subscribe for free. Just go to CollisionBlast.com, give us your first name and email address to send hours of free training, and you'll also receive uh, upcoming updates as well. In this video, we are going to discuss the technical data sheet for Shop Lines Etch Primer. So, let's get started. Okay, so let's talk about Shoplines Edge Primer. The number for it is JP215, and it's a green translucent chromate containing acid edge primer, specifically designed to provide improved adhesion and corrosion resistant to properly prepared steel and aluminum while offering fast dry characteristics. This primer also serves as a pre-treatment corrosion coating in areas where VLC compliance is required. And again, the number for this uh, primer is JP215. That is the etch primer. And this one uses a catalyst. And the catalyst is JH2150 etch primer catalyst. Now, I also want to mention they do make a, an etch primer that comes in a can. That is a 1K, one part, does not have a catalyst. But this specific one is a two part. And both the 1K and 2K provide corrosion protection in the etch primer. Compatible substrates, and what this is talking about is what can this primer be applied over. It says properly clean and sanded steel, galvanized, and aluminum. Not recommended over fiberglass or body filler. And the purpose, the reason they say that is because this primer has an acid in it, and it can soften the edges of your body filler or fiberglass, and it can cause some repair mapping issues or lifting issues. So this is really just designed for metal, bare metal. Okay, now let's talk about what can be overcoated. And what that means is we've got our self edge primer on the metal. What can we put on top of that? It says you can put a 2K primer surfacer, and that's just a two part primer surfacer. You can put one part or 1K acrylic primer, 2K urethane surfacer, 1K acrylic sealer, or 2K sealer. And it says that this primer must be primed or sealed before top coating. So in other words, you can't just put your self etch primer over the metal and then come with your base coat on top of that. It has to have, if you're doing some body work and you need to sand it, you're going to have to apply some primer surfacer. Or if you're uh, going to be top coating straight on top of that, you need to put down a primer sealer before top coating. Okay, preparation it says to wash it with wax and grease remover. And sanding, it needs to be sanded, the bare metal needs to be sanded with 80 to 180 grit. That's the range of grits that you can use to prepare this metal for the uh, primer. Mixing ratio, this mixes three to one. So it mixes three parts edge primer to one part catalyst. So if you have uh, three ounces of primer, you're gonna put one ounce of catalyst. Or if you have six ounces of primer, you're going to put two ounces of catalyst. The pot life on this is eight hours at 70 degrees. And I'd also like uh, to mention that, uh, you know, depending on the temperature, if it's 60 degrees, the pot life is going to be longer. If it's 100 degrees, you know, it's not going to be near that long. So the temperature plays a big part in your pot life. And what the pot life is, is that is how long that the product can be mixed together, the two products before it starts gelling and becoming hardened. Additives. This uh, primer can be reduced. If the temperatures are above 95 degrees, it can be reduced up to 10% per ready to spray quart. So uh, if you have it ready to spray, you can reduce this up to 10%. Now why would you want to do that on, on a hot day? Is to help slow down so you, you, it'll allow you to spray it, you know, where you can spray it on and get a good nice coat. If it's uh, too hot, you know, it's going to spray on really dry. So on hot days, you can add up to 10% of urethane reducer to this. Okay, application. It says you can apply one to two light coats, maximum film build of 0.4 mils. And that's not real thick. And I think the key thing here is light coats. You do not want to put this on very heavy. If you put it on real heavy, that's going to cause some problems because it has that acid in it. The gun pressure. With the HVLP, it's 10 PSI at the air cap. And with HVLP, it's going to vary from gun to gun what reaches that 10 PSI at the air cap. Because most of the guns we, we use, we adjust at the gun, not the air cap. 
So depending on the gun you use, it's probably going to be anywhere from 20 to 30 uh, PSI at the gun to get that 10 PSI at the air cap. Conventional gun, and that's just your older traditional guns, it's going to use 35 to 40 PSI at the gun. And probably don't see a lot of those. Those are being outdated, so you're probably not going to see a lot of conventional guns. Gun setup, it uses a 1.3 to 1.5 tip on it. Dry times. Between coach, you need to wait 5 to 10 minutes. So it has a 5 to 10 minute flash time. So if, you, if you're applying two coats, you need to apply your first coat, allow it to dry 5 to 10 minutes, and then apply your second coat. Now, remember that this is uh, at 70 degrees. If it's hotter, it may not take quite that long. If it's cold, you need to allow more time. Okay, so how long do you need to allow it to dry before applying your surfacer or sealer? It says 15 minutes before applying primer surfacer or sealer. If not overcoated, JP215 must be sanded and reapplied after 24 hours at 70 degrees. So what this is talking about, if uh, you didn't put your sealer or your primer on within 24 hours, you're going to have to scuff it up to give it that mechanical adhesion because it lost its chemical bite that it's going to have. So you need to scuff it up and reapply the, the primer and then shoot your sealer or your primer surfacer on before that 24 hour period. And this is called a window, you know, what, how long of a window? This has a 24 hour window. So if you're you're spraying this, be sure and try to apply your primer surfacer or your primer sealer within 24 hours. And again, this is at 70 degrees. So if it's real hot, you know, you may not have quite that long. And if it's colder, you know, it may extend that just a little bit. Clean up says to clean spray guns, gun cup storage pots thoroughly with JR reducer or, you know, a general purpose solvent or appropriate cleaner. Also says to follow EPA guidelines for proper storage and disposal of solvent-borne waste paint. Then it gives the properties of the VOC and all that. And again, I've got, I got one of these that you can go down below the video and you can get this sheet. If you're going to be spraying this later, you can go and click it and, and you know, view this sheet yourself for the specifics on all the VOC and all that if you're wanting to know that. But anyway, this wraps up the video on Shopline's Edge Primer. And I'll have some more of these, so be sure and subscribe to this channel and uh, give us a like. Thanks for watching, and be sure and go to collisionblast.com to subscribe for more free training.